This video looks at providing internet connectivity for clients in a GNS3 application. So the uh, the aim of this is to configure this client here to go through the switch, through the router and into the internet to get a web page. So there's a quite a few rabbit holes which you can fall down when you're doing this. So what we're going to do first is look at providing um, a IP address to this interface here and also we need to know what this address is as well as the gateway to the internet and we'll look at providing some IP addresses to these two clients over here. So that's what the video is all about and let's get into it. So looking at router one now, what you see is the uh, the show interface brief, which uh, says that there's no IP addresses and they're currently down down. So first thing is Ethernet zero slash zero. Interface Ethernet zero slash zero IP address DHCP okay now we're doing no shut so let's find out what IP address it's giving out <clears throat> we should get that IP address through shortly okay here we go so here we're given the IP address of 192 168 191172 so let's now address that because we know that that IP address goes there the next thing I want to do is find out what the gateway is so the NAT0 address so the way I'm going to do that is exit out of there exit out of there and I'm going to do a trace route to 192.168.1.1 so I know that that's my address of my external uh, access to the internet so if I'm going to do that now to get out of the trace route you do control you do shift and then you do six So now I can see that this address is the first access from the uh, from the router one here. So 192.168.191.2. So I can put that address in there. So I now know the, the uh, those two. So the next thing I want to do here is set up a address for the other interface of Ethernet. 0 slash 1 so interface Ethernet 0 slash 1 IP address 172.116.0.1 dot okay now we shut that Okay, so now we have two interfaces in an up up state. One is the DHCP and one is the assigned internet uh, that I'm assigning 172.16.0.1. So the next thing I can do is set up a DHCP to deliver this subnet addresses. So IP DHCP pool pool there we go okay 
like so do ipv4 for nat okay so now we're in the configuration of uh, nat let's do the network addresses that we're going to deliver 172.16.0.0 backslash 24 let's have the uh, the DNS server is the address of 192.168.1912.192.168.191.2. So this is the NAT address. Okay, the next thing is the 72.16.0.0. Dot zero dot one. Okay, so moving on, just do a quick save of that. What we want to do now is done the IP pool, so that's done. We'll do a standard access list now. IP access list standard IP NAT and we'll just do a permit any okay so next we'll do a, a default route 0 .0 .0 .0. so I'll just explain this one to you we're going to have an, a, a default route out the router uh, through Ethernet 0 slash 0 and the the DHCP here is the default routes next hop is going to be dynamically delivered to the interface Okay, so we're not going to give out that address because that's already taken by the Ethernet 0 slash 1. So we exclude that address from being able to uh, be given out. Okay, so now we can look at uh, doing the uh, NAT addresses. So you need a NAT because what you're going to be doing is going through your router it won't be able to deal with the 172.116 network it won't allow it to go through so you need to swap it for whatever it uh, changes itself into in my reason it's uh, 192.168.191 so moving on to do the NAT address configuration now. So IP uh, IP NAT inside source list of IP NAT.
interface ethernet 0 slash 0 overload okay moving on to the interface configuration we need uh, interface ethernet 0 slash 0 is IP NAT outside okay moving on interface ethernet 0 slash 1 IP NAT inside let's just do a check Okay, got the pool network. Okay, that looks good. Okay, this is uh, okay. This is, this looks good. Uh, IP address DHCP, internet, Ethernet zero slash one. Yep. So the IP route is the default route going through Ethernet 0 and the next hop is provided by the DHCP. IP NAT inside source list, IP NAT interface. Okay. Okay, time to move uh, to the uh, so copy, run, start. Okay, time to move to a client now. Let's test this out. Do a console into that. IP DHCP. Okay, so we've been given an IP address of 172.16.2. Let's ping 1.1.1.1. So we have a, a reply back from 1.1.1.1. Let's do a ping of google.com, which we have a reply for. So let's move on to the Firefox now. Start that up. Okay, let's have a look at the console. So this uh, Firefox is downloadable from the uh, GNS um, applications. And if we do a HTTPS yahoo.com so looks like there we have it agree to that and we're through to yahoo.com So let's close that down now. So just a quick recap of what we've done here. And I will do a, uh, a brief rundown of the uh, commands on screen just at the end of the video. So what we've uh, managed to do is find out what this IP address was through DHCP and look at finding out what the gateway was and providing some IP addresses by DHCP to these clients here and configuring the NAT 
so that it goes through from this address through to this address it swaps from a, a 172.16 network to overloading this IP address so all IP addresses as they go through the router will come from this IP address and it'll have a, um, it'll have, it'll have a port number uh, that's how it works so thanks for the uh, stopping by for this video give me a thumbs up and uh, share with me a comment tell me what you think thank you